C-H-O, C-O-L, A. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what are you, what are you saying? What, what is that? The Chocolatiers song, man. We got Chocolatiers tonight on the show. Not only is that a bad joke, I think it's also copywritten. No, it's not. Yeah, you can do it later. T-E-E. -E. Later! Well, how, how do you spell Chocolatiers? <laughs> That you're doing on purpose, sing like a singing on key. Talk to the girl that intimidates you. Pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! Oh man, if I don't care, man, don't me, son. Woo! And now, a man who always brings the funk, Jason Sewell! Yes! Ooh. Welcome, Sit later, Whoa. Jason Sewell. Oh, Sit yes. down. That was a... Sit down in your uh, chair, Jason. Exactly. Uh, uh, drum Take effect. a seat. You gotta hurry Post. you down. I know. Right, let's or just do I'll... the thing. I'll piddle around for the whole show, really. You'll just over there and be like, oh, camera's on me. Camera's I know, me. please. This camera, this camera yeah. on me. Thank you. Uh, hey, Charlie, good to have you back. Thanks, man. Thanks. Uh, we always love having Chef Stephen Brooks fill in on the drums, but you're back playing drums. And you didn't bring any food this <laughs> like Stephen does. I, that's true. Charlie, Sorry. responsibilities have changed. I mean, I he know. brought food for the band. Oh. oh. <laughs> Speaking of people that we're glad they're here on the show today, uh, I'm really excited to welcome our interview guest. We've got Stephanie Funk joining Ooh. us on the show. Bring yeah. Funk. Funk. Bring in the funk. And we're looking oh, yeah. looking to the band to play some funk music for I us. Hope they today. practice. Yeah, I do too. We don't know that. <laughs> We don't know that song. Here's somebody I'm really excited about is our musical guest, uh, Sean Michelle, joining us on the show. Ooh. Sean Michelle, Central Arkansas musician. He's amazing. He's got the most fantastic beard that you've ever seen. Whoa. And also a fantastic sound. So stick around to hear him coming up later on the show. Uh, we've also got Preston Stewart, Markham and Fitz Wait, joining us. Wait, did you us. say chocolate? I said Markham and Fitz, chocolate. Ooh. Preston, what are we going to be doing down there at the chef's table today? So this morning we're going to be making some truffles yeah. and possibly a chocolate martini if there's time. <laughs> <laughs> there, we will make time for chocolate martinis, absolutely. Start making it now. Yes. <sighs> Stick around, folks. we got more coming up later. My name's Turbo Dan, and today we're doing roller derby. Woo! My name's Turbo Dan, and today I'm here with Northwest Arkansas Roller Derby, and we're gonna get our skate on. Woo! I've decided to come down here today and do some roller derby because all these girls, they've got really cool nicknames, and that's something that Turbo Dan doesn't have. So today, Turbo Dan's getting a nickname. Yeah! My derby name is Alex the Great. We've had a bloody Bathroy, we've had a Joanna Bark. It only seemed fitting that my first name being Alex, I should come in as Alex the Great. There is no better community on earth than the roller derby community. Nowhere else where you can feel as instantly as accepted. Anybody can get involved. We do um, our beginner skating session two times a year. We're getting ready to start up another session. Anybody who's interested in learning how to become a skater, a referee, or even a non-skating official to help us out with our games just needs to visit our Facebook page, which is NWA Roller Girls. I am so excited that Turbo Dan is going to be here today. I have heard what a great and natural athlete he is. We're just gonna run him through a few of our standard drills that we do to get ready for any roller derby game. As you know, a roller derby team, when we go on to the floor for a game, is comprised of four skaters who are called blockers and one who's called a jammer. And it's that jammer's job to go around and, and get points, and it's the blocker's job to make sure that he doesn't get those points. So, of course, being the superstar he is, he is going to take on the role of the jammer, and we are going to do everything in our power to keep him from getting through, and we know that's gonna be very hard. But before I get to take the court, these girls are going to show me how it's done. Even though I've never played before, I'm confident that I'm going to be the best one out there today. Yeah!
Turbo Dan. We're so glad you came out and skated with us today. You did such a great job that we have your derby name for you. This is a derby name that you have earned. Turbo Hammock. Well, we're here in the hot tub section at Sam's Furniture, and I'm joined by Sean Schwartzman from Potter's House. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the mission of Potter's House. The mission of Potter's House is to build and strengthen our community across socioeconomic and ethnic lines. We see that there's a big divide in our community, and we're trying to bring people together mm -hmm. across those divides into really healthy long-term relationships. Yeah, and how do you do that? You have some programs? Yeah, so we, we do. We have a preschool, we have after-school tutoring, small groups, oh. mentoring, uh, job training, leadership. So there's, there's lots of programs that really touch kids from six months old all the way to adults yeah. and uh, trying to get people to the place that they have these diverse, healthy social networks. I love that. You know, a lot of people know Potter's House from your thrift stores and your stores that you have all throughout mm -hmm. Northwest Arkansas, but I love to hear the mission and the why behind what you do, creating those genuine relationships. And nothing brings people together like a good old fashioned hot tub. Right, Bo? Yeah, but I thought these things were supposed to have water in them. Yeah, welcome back, folks. Later with Jason Sewell joining us at the desk. We've got Stephanie Funk. Thank you so much for joining us on Later with Jason Sewell. Thank you for having me. This is a huge honor. Oh, absolutely. Well, we're honored to have you here. First of all, let's just dive right in. Let's just get right into it. That's, okay. That's let's I do like it. To do things. Let's do it. Uh, talk to us about, I know you wear a lot of hats. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, job She's hat? not wearing any hat today. <laughs> You're Jason. right. You're right. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. You didn't get the memo? Mm -mm. Hats? I didn't. Your job, what's your, your main job? Right, so I work in technology okay. for a software development firm called Matova, and really what we're doing is helping companies I mean, everybody's going through digital disruption. Every single industry. What does that mean, digital disruption? Can we get, wait, 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 wait. Can, before we get further in this interview, yeah. I feel a lot of buzzwords happening. Can mm. we get like a buzzword counter? Uh, it's like digital disruption. <laughs> wow! And then we just have like a rolling clock. Yes. Dan, Flint, can we get on this? Get on it, team, you're on it? Okay. Digital disruption. <laughs> All right, so like, what is that? For example, we have a company that's in the lawn care industry. Mm -hmm. They weren't using an app for their customers to be able to oh. track their service person, arrange services, all of that stuff. We created their app for them, Got and it. it meant millions of dollars in revenue immediately. Okay. So there are companies like that that can lead their industry in disruption. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and then, but then there are also companies. There are thousands of companies that are at risk of being obsolete because somebody else in their industry has innovated and they right. haven't yet and so we're helping them catch up gotcha. or springboard past the early adopter. So that's, we've talked about Matova now, mm -hmm. but you also have this kind of robust portfolio of activity. Yes. <laughs> robust portfolio of activity. <laughs> Um, so what is what are some of the other things that you're involved with in the community? Okay, so my primary concern is um, the Helen Walton Early Childhood Initiative right. Center. And Helen's vision, Miss Walton's vision, was to provide early childhood education for every child in Northwest Arkansas. Accessibility, yeah. Yes, and, and from my perspective, I had a startup, and we were having trouble recruiting qualified talent and those talent the people that we needed to come and stay in northwest arkansas had little kids right and they were like where what's your early childhood education situation and there are these long waiting lists right. for the certified centers and all this stuff they so, handed them crayolas and macaroni and mm -hmm. said well there you go so the way that you can support that in case yeah. anybody's wondering is when you're looking for an uh, center for your child to make sure that they are better beginning certified because yeah. demand creates Yes. more demand for the education and the certification and sure. you know then when we have fundraisers we'd love for you to attend right absolutely mm -hmm. yeah that's a great thing mm -hmm. and then we're, you also are involved in a couple of creative things in the community as well right, right. so I know that we were talking about um, maybe some of the things that you're excited to see happen in Northwest Arkansas in the next few years yeah so the biggest thing that I've seen happen in Northwest Arkansas overall from a high level is yeah the arts and yeah. what's going on in the arts. So then music is huge right. in Northwest Arkansas. 
Um, Always you know, has been, and but the, right now there seems to be a booming, um, you know, a lot of people focusing their attention right. on creating a healthy, sustainable <laughs> music right. culture. So to that end, we have the House of Songs that right. is putting on these amazing brew room sessions in yes. the back room at Bike Rack. Right, and I then love what they're they doing. They have these artists come stay in residence. At, they actually have a house right. in downtown Bentonville, yeah. and they bring all these amazing artists. So I'm involved in that. And then I work with Al Bell. He just exudes this positivity. He's awesome. Yeah. Awesome and he dude. finds these artists like Sean Michelle yes. out of Central Arkansas yes. that you're like, where has this guy been? Right. You know? And yeah. he's got this, I mean, his lyrics have this message that are just so amazing. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. He's a great dude. And he does have an amazing beard. Yes. Right? Like, I mean, really, that beard truly, is. Truly, I've never just, seen anything like it. He's coming up next, so watch that segment. Like okay. Samson, it's where he keeps all his power. That's true. <laughs> I think it is true. <laughs> <laughs> And that's your buzzwords. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us on Later with Jason Sewell. Uh, coming up after the break, we have Sean Michelle as our musical guest, Al Bell, fully uh, in support of Sean Michelle. You gotta check out that music video. And then stick around, we got more happening later. Our musical guest brought to you by Walton Art Center. Walton Art Center, presenting the West Street Live series. This is Sean Michelle. And it feels like he's about to pop explode. Just watch it. My mother and my father My mother and my father My mother and my father They tried the best they could My mother and my father Mother and my father My mother and my father They tried the best they could could Try the best they could, could I don't ever want to lose my soul Come on, Lord, give me that good old Just for rock and roll I don't ever want to lose my soul, lose my soul. Come on, Lord, give me that good old gospel rock and roll. Oh, yeah, 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 my love. I don't ever want to lose my soul. It feel like I'm about to pop explode. Let's give it to a little. My mother and my father Come on, my mother and my father oh, My mother and my father They tried the best they could My mother and my father Mother and my father My mother and my father They tried the best they could Could try the best they could Could I don't ever want to lose my soul Come on, Lord Give me that good old gospel I can Wild thing, I think I love you. Listen, I wanna know for sure. Ooh, suck it to me one more time. Wild thing, I think I love you. Yes, give me to a wild thing. I 
Everything that transmits From the bowels to the bits Knock them in fits Mark and Fitz on the program. Yeah, Preston Stewart, thank you for joining us. Thanks Let's for having do. me. At chocolate. Man. I mean, it was a great segment, ladies and gentlemen. We got more <laughs> happening right here on there. I'm going to take this shot. Bye. Yeah. Just a big yeah. bowl of chocolate. Oh my gosh. Man. We, it's obscenely more than the home chef needs. Yes, well, it, I'm I thankful know, that you brought it. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we gonna be making? I, I see I see truffles. Chocolate. Right? Yeah. So we got some finished truffles, but I'm gonna show you how to make truffles. Let's do that. It's one of the most delicious things that you can make with chocolate, and it's surprisingly I'll easy. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> You well, go, go straight not in? Yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, oh, so surprisingly I easy. I don't trust his methods yep. yet. Let's talk about it. So truffles are just ganache mm -hmm. um, that are typically either rolled in cocoa powder or nuts right. or like dipped in more chocolate. Right. And to make ganache, all you need is two ingredients, chocolate and cream. Oh, my ganache. That's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a Jason joke. <laughs> that was a yeah. sing. Yeah, well, sorry. That was a joke. They'll get better. Maybe. Okay. So we've got some 70% um, dark chocolate. Like a nice dark chocolate. Right. Yeah. You want to have a nice dark chocolate because you're going to be kind of weakening it a little bit with cream. So you, oh. if you want to get that robust flavor, you want to start with something pretty dark. Nice. Um, so you want to take your chocolate, chop it really finely. So you can see here, this is like with your favorite chocolate knife. Tidbits. Um, right. Yeah, they're totally. Is, is that this a considered tidbit fine? or an imperial tidbit? This is fine enough, yes. Yes, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> so chop your chocolate as fine as you can. Yep. Um, put it in a bowl. Yes. And then you want to heat some cream. So what we're doing today actually is a vegan truffle. Oh, what makes it so, vegan? What do we have? What kind of cream? So this is coconut cream. Ah. So you've got your cream yeah. heating. Yep, yeah, totally. You want it to start to lightly simmer. Okay. So okay. once it gets to a simmer, we'll pour the cream over the chocolate and then just wait a little bit. Okay, so the... you just dump that into there mm -hmm. and then you wait. That's wait it. a few minutes to let the chocolate start melting. Okay. And then you'll just whisk it until it reaches a nice smooth like pudding like consistency. Gotcha. So we can go ahead and take it off the heat. Sure. Um, and it looks like a really, this is about a pound and a half of chocolate. Um, that? Yeah. Wow. I don't know, that looks like more. I've eaten a pound and a half of chocolate before. <laughs> I'm in one sitting? I mean, there's long, those Marvel movies are getting long yeah. these days, you know? That's true. <laughs> Sneaking that it into true. the theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you just let that sit for a little bit and then you're gonna I mean, you don't touch it? it? Right. Is it kind of like a grill? You just like... Have you want it to kind of like start melting the chocolate yeah. um, so that otherwise you're just gonna be working it okay. unnecessarily. Um, when I go to the club, I generally working work it, it unnecessarily. unnecessarily. Yeah. yeah, you do. That is true. Okay. So. The, it's kind of a, a thick pudding consistency. Right. So you just want to scoop some in your hand, and then roll. And then roll? Just roll it. Make me next, me next. All right, I'll... I'll. So you get a nice round-ish yeah. truffle ball. Okay. Yeah. Hand rolled, it's not going to be perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, up. Can I have another one? There you go. Thank you. Okay. So typically oh, we would roll this in cocoa powder yeah. to make like a classic French style. Right. Or oh, Belgian. Um, we oh, roll this God. one in toasted coconut. Sure. You can do... You know, oh, any type of chopped nuts. Yep, yep. And then we also have mm. some that are dipped in chocolate, so it has a nice little crunch on the outside. Oh, you don't man. have to do anything to them. Absolutely. This is great. Truffles. Now, mm. Preston, thank you so much. We've made truffles. Yeah. You're showing us how to do that. Some My that. pleasure. Thanks That's for right. having it's me delicious. on. And... Yeah, for sure. Whoa. Stick around, folks. we got more happening later. Thank you for joining us on Later with Jason Sewell. Remember, you can find us out there on your social media platforms. Send us an email over at LaterWithJasonSewell.com. Oh, you Let's know go. what? We got bonus content. That's you right. Want to see us make these chocolate martinis? Check us out on our YouTube channel. That's right. Yeah. And before we leave this episode, we need to thank our guests, the amazing Stephanie Funk, the chocolate birthday boy himself, Preston Stewart. That's right. Okay. The um, the um, happy birthday. Yeah. yeah. The amazing beard and. Musician Sean Michelle. And of course, Turbo Dan in the NWA Roller Derby. Yes. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Cheers. I'm going to try one of these vegan ones. I'm doing it.